A Jewish man from Israel visiting family here in Baltimore, murdered in Baltimore early this morning. He was the first of eight people shot in our city today. A councilman from that district where it happened says it was a random, senseless killing. And tonight, shocked neighbors have a message for our city leaders. WMAR 2 News' Ray Strickland joins us live at Baltimore Police Headquarters. And Ray, from what you've learned tonight, the victim was in Baltimore to attend a relative's wedding. Yeah, Jamie, that's exactly right. And I've learned he was visiting his aunt and uncle's house when uh, the shooting happened. Now, I was also told he was just steps away from making it inside before he was killed in what appears to be an attempted robbery. He's just simply here for a couple days for a wedding. Yitzi Schleifer is the councilman of the district in northwest Baltimore, where 31-year-old F. Ron Gordon was shot and killed early Monday morning. When you have somebody in town visiting Baltimore who's never been to Baltimore before, and simply just walking from there from the car into into the house to be gunned down just horrific Schleifer says he saw the surveillance video of the incident he called what happened senseless saying three men tried to rob gordon before one of them shot and killed him you know for for people to take someone's life over you know valuables is just you know it's insane baltimore police say the shooting happened around 12 in the morning in the 3700 block of ford's lane it was around the same time ricky jackson says he heard gunshots he eventually went to the scene to find out what was going on i saw on the ground a uh, garment soaked in blood and i heard uh this elderly uh gentleman tell the police officer that he saw some guys chasing his son. Jackson says this is a quiet, tight-knit community. He says what happened is unbelievable. It's sad that he comes over here in America and get killed and having to be shipped back in a coffin. Schleifer says the area, which is largely made up of Jewish people, is shaken by what happened. He says he's already received about 100 messages related to the murder. The violence just has to stop. And people like Jackson are fed up with the violence, and he has a message for the city's new administration. You promise us transparency. You promise us a safe environment. And every time I see you on TV, you're saying the word unacceptable. Well, apparently it's being acceptable. We as citizens don't see what you're doing. We are frustrated. And I did get a chance to speak with family members, but as you can imagine, it was too hard for them to talk. Now, we have learned that there is a fund set up for people to donate to help with the uh, funeral expenses. That information is on our website at WMAR2news.com. And, of course, as always, if you have any information about this shooting, police want you to give them a call. Reporting live in downtown Baltimore, I'm Ray Strickland, WMAR2News.